What is up guys, Dave? Back again for another truck and vlog. And we are uh, in South Carolina right now, Spartanburg. We're uh, about to make a pickup here. We're almost to the pickup right now. I'm only uh, seven miles away from the pickup. So it probably won't be too long. I put a picture up on screen. This is what it looks like here. We're in Spartanburg, uh, South Carolina, by the way. And uh, it looks like a pretty standard place. I turn on this Brooks Boulevard here and the place will be on my right. There looks like there's a couple of entrances. Uh, I wanna take the last entrance, so then I turn in and then go right and the docks will be on my left for a sight side back. Cause it looks like if I go in one of the first entrances, then they're gonna be on my passenger side so from what I can see from the overhead I should be able to turn in the last drive puts me right in the truck parking lot and it looks like it's gonna be pretty easy looks like there's plenty of space you never know you really never know they could have trailers at the end of the lot now or something that shrinks it down and you know it could be overflow trailers and not have the space to put them which would make our job harder they gotta put them somewhere, and they're like, well, the drivers will figure it out. <laughs> so yeah, figured I would film this. Uh, I don't see that it's gonna be anything crazy. Hopefully it's quick. Um, and yeah, about to take the exit just now in about three and a half miles. It is a rainy, nasty day today. It has been all night long. I started off at about 1 a.m. was when I took off from the truck stop, and it has just been nonstop raining all day long. Uh, I think I parked, where did I park? So I think I was in North Carolina, I think. I'm dropping down to 55 here. Then I had to make a delivery at a chicken farm, which y'all may or may not have saw that video where that was eventful. Y'all probably did already see that video, I don't know. And then, uh, then I came here to make this pickup, but it just, it's been nonstop, just like this. So, yeah, I already did a video earlier today. That was the chicken farm. This is the second video I'm filming today, but this will be a standalone video, obviously, for y'all. Picking that nose, son. Digging for gold. <laughs> it's like, like they, were just, they were just digging up in there, man. And, you know, who cares? Everybody picks their nose, you know, me a little bit. Everybody, everybody gets up in there every now and then, but it's kind of, I laugh because it's like, this person has no idea. They're just sitting there picking their nose and some like random YouTube truck driver just glanced over at this moment in time. The moment that they decided to get that gold in there and now it's on YouTube. And that person will never see this video. You know what, we're not gonna say that anymore. We're not gonna say that. Oh man, I gotta tell, okay, I gotta tell this story. For those of you, and there's not many anymore, but for those of you that have been watching me since my Moto Vlog days, right? I started off doing, I'm gonna tell this story. It's a story that I feel like needs to be told every chance I get. Do I need to be in that lane or this lane? I think that lane ends. This is not a good time to tell a story, by the way. I'm gonna have to wait till I get out of here, I don't know. Cause this is not a good time. I got 1.5 miles, does this lane end? No, it's this lane that ends. Okay, sweet. So we're in the good lane. Oh God, hopefully this lane, is this open? Google Maps says it's open too. I got both Google and this taking me to the exact spot I need to go. Hmm. Two right lanes closed ahead. Wait. This one does not close. Okay, we're good. One point, yeah, this this story is not going to get told right now because we are almost there, boys. Y'all got to wait. To, I, it's, it's the craziest story, man. It really is. Well, I'm probably overhyping it. There's CFI. Let's wave, see if he waves. <laughs> we'll put my hand up like we used to. Hey, CFI. They had their hand up, but they, they actually had their hand up, but I don't know if they were like scratching their head. But I looked over, that person literally, does this close? Yeah, this closes too. That person literally just had their hand straight up like they were waving at me. I know it said two lanes closed, but. I was still over there because I was like, well, it don't look like it's closed. To Gosset Road and keep right. Yeah, but trust me when I tell y'all, how many of y'all 
have seen something that said this lane's closed and then it doesn't. That happens a lot. So now I always wonder, does it really close? Because a lot of times they don't. You'd be sitting there to be like, right lane closed one mile, merge now. And then you merge and you're the only one merged over and then you hit a mile up the road and nothing's closed. And you're just like, okay. <laughs> it's like, right lane. It's like they, they fixed it or finished it, but forgot to take the sign down or like, oh, we'll get that sign tomorrow or something. I don't know. This truck just chilling right here. He took his tan here, son. He's still sleeping. He done stopped about 1, 2 a.m. He's just chilling. God, all this construction makes Eight me nervous. Quarter miles. Turn right on Brooks Boulevard. Google says I'm good, though. Google usually knows when the road closures are a lot better than GPS because GPS only, this thing only updates every so often. Whereas Google Maps is like constantly being updated and, and it, it's good for that, for knowing when construction comes up. One mile, turn right on Brooks Boulevard. Yep. Then we got the satellite here, which I've already uh, dropped a pin of where I need to go and where that entrance is. So we are almost there. It ain't gonna be no thing. Looks pretty simple. And yeah, I'll eventually tell you all this story about when I was moto vlogging in Florida about somebody I thought would never see my video actually saw my video of something I said that I feel bad about. I really do. I feel bad, but I'll have to tell you all that later because I don't know if I've ever told that story since I've been trucking. I mean, it was a big thing on my, well, it was a big thing on like my, I don't know, 2,000 subscriber channel back then. Lane ends merch left, okay? I had like 2,000 subscribers back then, dude. And I'll just give a, a little sneak peek. I said something mean about somebody that I shouldn't have said, and I really did feel bad about it afterwards. And the person actually saw the video. The person actually saw the video. I had like 2,000 subscribers. How the hell does that happen? Anyways, all right, truck, you're gonna have to turn, bro. You're gonna have to turn because I don't know how big this, I can't see. I'm just gonna let him go because I don't, I don't know what the situation is. Yeah, I'm gonna let him go. He knows I'm letting him go. So he, I don't know. I can't see because there's a big hump right here. So I can't see how big the, uh, they got their yard all done up, don't they? Yeah, there's no way I could have, no. There's no way two trucks can fit. That's why he's flashing me, because he knows that he has to. Good. All right. Yeah, I had to let him go. All right, now I can take this whole thing here. Okay. All right, it's gonna be this building on the right here. It looks like you're coming into some big old plant, but everything that I looked at is sh Ooh. wait. So you Arriving can't get through. So is it on the right? Okay, we're just gonna try the first one. Cause look, they got I didn't know these barricades were here. I thought it was just one because there's dock doors over there too. I don't know which one I'm supposed to be in. <laughs> there was no sign saying which one. Am I supposed to be on okay? I think I'm supposed to go in the next one, man, honestly. I don't think this is right because there's no check-in over here, but there was on the other one, so I don't know. This is all the same building. But like I said, my problem here is, where do I check in? Is it that other lot over there? I don't freaking know. Oh, there's an open gate right there. So it looks like I can go over there. So I'm just gonna park here, go check in, and I'll be back with y'all in a minute. It's just gonna be one of those days where everywhere I go, I have no clue what I'm supposed to do because <sighs> earlier today, like I said, I did a video for y'all where I was at a chicken farm and I had no clue what the hell to do. Thankfully, a lot of the reviews helped me out. Um, this guy tells me you got to go in the other lot over here and there's an office, whatever. He was He's kind of trying to point to it, but I couldn't really tell. So I'm just going to go over there and try to read, you know what I mean? But like this whole building is the place right so it's the whole place so i'm at the right place it's just where do you go in at um and the satellite images i couldn't tell that there was these concrete blocks separating the two lots so that's 
that's my uh, predicament right now. And oh god, what are you doing, US Express? What are you doing? What are you doing? Hold on, dog. <laughs> I didn't know he was backing. Shit. God bless, man. Get me up out of here, dude. He was not backing when he didn't have four ways on either, but he wasn't backing when I started my turn. He started backing right after that, and I, I don't think he knows what he's doing either. <laughs> All right, so dude said I come in here. Okay, it says receiving right there, and he said just to check in over here, so I'm just gonna go in the receiving office. They're probably shipping also, I'm assuming. So let's make sure we clear that right there, and then cut it hard, hard, hard left, and then back over here. Well, man, I've hit the freaking horn on that U.S. Express or variant, whatever it is. I'm like, hey, bro, I'm, I'm turning here. He saw me, though. He slammed on the brakes right as I hit the horn. But, yeah, anyways. <laughs> All right, let me check in again. I'm so over places today, dude. I am so freaking over it. I know it doesn't seem like a big deal in just this video here, but considering not knowing what I was supposed to do at the farm I went to today and then coming here and going in the first entrance and being like, no, you need to go down here to this door. Well, that was the driver that told me that. He didn't know because he was receiving. And it says receiving on the door, but there, they, anybody knows there's many warehouses you go to. It says receiving, and that's where you go in for shipping, too. It's not always clear. So I'm going to check one thing at a time. And he just said, uh, some guy, I started filling out all this information on the computer because it has a computer. And it says, are you here for pickup or delivery? I'm like, okay, I'm at the right place. Yay. So I'm punching in all the information, and then it asked me the year of my trailer. I'm like, well, crap, I don't know the year of my trailer. So I run out here because it's, you know, on the front, the nose of the trailer and all that. So I run out here. I figure out it's a 2015. So I'm like, okay, 2015. So I run back inside. And before I can even put it in, some guy comes out. He's like, are you pickup or delivery? I'm like, pickup? He's like, you got to go down there to shipping. I'm like, God freaking dang it, man. <laughs> so why is it asking me? And it even knew where I was going, too. It said, are you going to Toledo? And I'm like, yes, that's exactly where I'm going. So, yeah. Anyways, now we're in here, and we're going to try to park out of the way somewhere. I don't know where. Because we're going to be blocking all these dock doors and such. And then, I'm assuming it's up there on the right. I walk up the ramp and go into shipping, I guess. I don't flipping know. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. But we're going to straighten this trailer out. Make sure we don't block this dude in. I don't know where to go. <laughs> He's going back up here somewhere. All right. Don't go ahead and. Oops. Like, I don't even know where you're supposed to go here. can get out and this is where I'm gonna sit so now we go check in and see what they say to do now <laughs> oh, I'm over today dude I am so over today it's it's been it's been just one of those days today this was the perfect spot to sit because all the cars behind me can get out the cars on the right there can get out the trucks can get out so it was actually a pretty good little spot to to uh, sit um, so you check in on the computer nobody talks to you and then it just says back into any open dock um, this one probably next to this guy, the yellow or the gold truck is probably going to be the best for me. Um, cause I'm at an awkward freaking thing here. <laughs> so I can't get that very far one. So we're going to try to match where my tandems are and now we're going to start to get under it now. There we go. Lined her up, boy. <laughs> All right, that's about as good as I can get her. Yeah, that 
dock pad is way over at the line. Oh yeah, I gotta be way over the left. This is a really weird one. <laughs> Cause the I gotta be on the left line, but not the right one. So it's just the left line you gotta pay attention to. I was not sure how that worked. Oh well, might do a little pull up, I guess. Maybe, I think, I don't know. I think we're pretty good here. Oh yeah, we're right on point, sort of, maybe. I might be too far to the right. No, I mean, both dock pads are right there, son. I guess I'm okay. I don't flip a nose. It's a weird. It's a really, really weird one, though. For real, for real. These guys slide their tandems. It didn't say to slide my tandems, but... Well, that's that. All right, guys, so I'll admit that uh, loading time took a solid uh, four hours. <laughs> Bros, I'm not, look, I wasn't even, in, when I left there, I wasn't even in the mood. I wasn't even in the mood to film. I said, I ain't filming, I don't care. I was gonna be right back with them when I left this place, and I'm not right Pretty back much. with them. We're about to weigh right now because I'm heavy and I need to weigh because I'm heavy. Uh, it's only 39,000. There's always a car like right there. Uh oh, what's that oversized doing? Can we swing this? God dang, son, you got two cars in the way of the scale. <laughs> it's fine, we'll get it. But there's always a car parked like right here. Last time we came through here, what was it? Like a garbage truck or something? I don't remember what it was. Maybe it was a camper RV, I think. All right, let's squeeze by Please him. Highlighted route. And let's squeeze over here. We good, man. We good. We good. <laughs> we didn't need no more room. All right, good lord. It always goes haywire on the uh, scale. I don't know why. Oh, we are good. We got uh, about 31,000 on the drive and 31,560 on the uh, trailer. So we're actually pretty balanced and everything is good. I had a feeling we were good. Like I said, this load had 39,000 on it and it felt pretty good. And my suspension gauge felt uh, looked pretty good here. So I was like, yeah, I think I'm pretty good. But there is going to be a scale up the road. I'm stopping in about an hour, but there's a scale in about 30 minutes. Uh, I can't remember the name of the town it was in. It started with a C in South Carolina. I can't remember, but that scale does appear to be open. <laughs> so uh, I was like, I need to go on ahead and weigh this. I can, uh, you know, just send it. At the end of the street, turn right. I wouldn't have sent it anyways online. I know over 25,000. I know we got a scale. It's okay. Don't, oh, it's all right online. I wasn't going to send it. I was just joking to the subscribers that sending it, you know, if the scale was closed or something. Because I know you never know if there's a little, you know, DOT portable scale they got set up in the rest area right there for all the Turn guys right that try to Carolina bypass 11. the scales. Yeah, right. I get it. I know online, you know, safety don't have to call me and tell me, hey, David, we just wanted to, you know, touch base with you about your uh, not weigh weighing because the, the the scale wasn't open there, and you know you wanted to go ahead and skip on out without wasting any time. And no, that's not what was going on. I'm just I'm just yakking. I just everything I talk about in my YouTube videos is fictitious. It's fictitious. It's all fiction. I just talk. You know what I mean? I'm just it's entertainment value. That's what I told contract freighters i told it was all entertainment value when they started getting uh antsy with stuff like man y'all y'all know i'm just joking you know what i mean you know what i when i say break up cfi or the suits around the table or hey, i'm just joking it's just entertainment value ain't it cfi yeah that's what it is tell online the same thing it's all it not guys listen only 30% of what I say is serious, okay? Y'all see me when I'm in a serious mood. It happens every now and then, but not often. Most of the time, I'm just happy-go-lucky Dave, just do-do-do-do-do. And I'm gonna gripe about the people by the scale before I even know if I can make it and it's perfectly fine. And then I gripe first, and then I tell you, eh, it's all right, he didn't do anything, you know? He, uh, you know, I gripe first and then realize I was wrong later. At least I admit it, okay? All right, can we just, can we just get that out of the way? It's very true. I do. How many times do I be like, this flipping guy? I'm like, oh man, I mean, there's nothing else he can do. You know what I mean? 
it's just it's just in my nature to go ahead and gripe first okay all right all right and 90 percent of the time i'm like well you know he probably he probably oh we probably can't see you know it's raining all this other stuff and you know he couldn't really make that turn anyway a lot going on i get it i mean he's probably stressed he's probably tired you know <laughs> i always try to give people a bit for the doubt but that's after i gripe all right so there you go anyways i think i think i'm gonna end this i don't even know if this video is long enough probably not i don't know maybe with all the jumping around we did the receiver i'll be back with y'all when i stop i'm stopping in about an hour all right i'll be back with y'all then because i i haven't been in the best of mood since i sat there oh let me explain wait i was supposed to tell y'all a story too oh yeah oh yeah i was supposed to tell y'all a story I forgot, I totally forgot about that, boy, shoot, I just remembered, that'll fill up this video, okay, I won't go away then, I'll, I promise y'all probably sitting here like, you don't forgot that dang story he was gonna tell us, yeah, yeah, let me tell y'all that story then. Now, first off, let me tell y'all what happened at the dang shipper, so, I was there for about four hours, and y'all saw when I pulled up, right, and I backed in and stuff, there was like three other trucks, and then one had left, and then I went and took the spot he was in. And then after I got backed in, backed in, I cut it off from there and was like, all right, I'm done. You know, I made me some food and everything else. I was ready to get some stuff done. I had to pee. I wanted some food. I was just, you know, I wasn't about to keep uselessly filming. So I cut it off and nobody starts loading me. One of the other trucks leaves. There's one truck left and nobody starts loading me. I'm like, yeah, they'll probably start after these three trucks are gone, right? Third truck leaves. It's just me in the dock. And I'm like, now they'll start. Sure enough, dock plate comes down, everything else. I'm like, hell yeah, that's how it works. I, those guys were out quick. Like, I mean, guys, I backed in and all three of those trucks were gone in about like 15 minutes. And I'm just like, dang. So I guess I'm gonna be loaded in 15 minutes. So I'm all excited at this point. I'm like, I'll make some good time today. Get on down the road, get this load delivered. Get this load delivered early tomorrow. You know, all this other crap. And get started on the next one. Nope. I'm just sitting there. Well, they start and they lay that dock plate down and then they start it. And then about five minutes later, a container truck rolls in, backs in, suddenly they stop. Container truck gets done, rolls out. Another truck rolls in, they work on him. Bro, I swear y'all, 15 to 20 trucks came in, packed in the dock doors and shot back out before I was ever done. I swear they just stopped loading me to get everybody else. And like my appointment time was today, it was like a window. It said like from 7 a.m. to like six or something like that. I don't know, I was there at, I don't know what time I was there. Flipping nine, 10? Oh, it must've been nine, cause it's 111 now. Anyways, so yeah. Now, uh, let's just give them the benefit of the doubt. Here we go, give somebody else the benefit of the doubt here. Maybe this guy is not going as fast as I am. He is not going, he's in his camper. I was going uphill, so I lost a little bit of speed. Now I got it back. Oh, I'm gonna catch this anyway, so I'm kinda scared. What are you doing? With this shuttle, why you gotta be going? It's 70, dude. It's 70. If everybody hurry up past me. Cherokee Avenue Baptist, y'all need Jesus. Hey, 10 and 2? Okay, it's 65, but still, he's going 50. <laughs> I ain't even going 65 right now. Good Lord. What was he doing? What was he thinking? <clears throat> so anyways, let's give him the benefit of the doubt. Maybe those other trucks that were in and out are hauling different stuff and whatever product I'm taken was still getting made or something you know there's a lot of other things or maybe i'm just maybe those, those trucks like i didn't they all just backed in as soon as they come in like i stopped checked in and then the computer told me go ahead and back in right so i didn't know to just go ahead and back into an empty dock well all these guys did so maybe they come there all the time and they just you know got priority or something i don't know it was weird though it was really weird seeing 20 trucks go in and out of there sleeper cabs and stuff too not just day cabs They're like sleeper cabs everything else i'm just like what in the hell what's how are these guys getting in and out in 20 minutes and i'm sitting here for four hours i was the only truck sitting there for four hours man i was so upset so anyways that was the first story and that's why i wasn't in the when i got done i'm like god dang it, i don't get to make no headway today 
look at the fall changing the color look how pretty the trees are i love it when they start turning that red and pink and yellow orange <laughs> i don't really i don't really say any of those colors like that i was just trying to have that type of accent yellow i told y'all if you're a trucker you gotta say yellow you don't say yellow when you're a trucker somebody says you see that what color is that truck over there you don't say oh that's yellow <laughs> you say that's yellow i also don't say orange i hate when people say or like i say orange at least with my accent i just say orange some people orange <laughs> orange that orange car over there i always hated that it always bothered me what's the other one red <laughs> i say red red normally i say red i don't say red 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 neck anyways before i forget I, I already know i already know y'all are sitting there like he done forgot again he done went on about this stupid <laughs> color changing trees no 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 listen let me let me let me explain here let me take a sip of my water i'm parched so this was 10 years ago nine i don't know it was a long time ago my youtube channel was fairly new and fresh i've been doing moto vlogs for a while but you know it was a slow climb i think i started off and jumped up to 500 subscribers and then kind of stagnated a little bit then i got up to like a thousand subscribers and i still remember i, I when i was in florida at one point i was at like 1100 subscribers 1100 subscribers i remember when i first moved to florida that's what i was at and basically i was living in destin florida uh the panhandle you know yeah i moved to florida and got a condo with my buddy there and uh we basically shared a condo and worked at the same place and i rode around yakking on my motorcycle like i'm yakking to y'all today you know a little bit different circumstances it didn't have work to be involved it was just leisurely riding and talking and at one point that was actually quite popular for youtube videos nowadays it's kind of taking a nosedive it's not nearly as popular as it used to be and everybody's views pretty much died and the big reason why i tried something else with what's this yep 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 we are stopping freaking lovely that's just what i need <laughs> god dang it i only got dang it man how 31 minutes god bless dude i only got an hour and a half on my freaking clock dude uh i was really hoping to just the end of my day i just wanted to be it's been a long day it's been a really long day i should have just i something told me to stop at that circle k back there and just shut it down for the day something told me dave just stop at that circle k and then i thought about it i was like no i'm nine and a half hours from my delivery and that's gonna make it you know really tight tomorrow to make sure i could do enough miles if something like this happens tomorrow i want to have a little leeway let's get it down to about you know eight and a half so i was gonna drive about another hour and then stop and now i can't i hate when this happens at the end of my day dude like during the midday or whatever it still sucks but it's like whatever but like right when i'm about to stop i'm like in a pretty you know decent mood like all right we're gonna stop because i'm like man i just 31 minutes that's an accident no it's construct 33 minutes now it's just construction it says it's not even an accident or anything they just got the road backed up 33 minutes for construction like really <laughs> is there can i get lucky and there's like a rest area one mile up the road or something like could i really get lucky with that 25 miles in here's rest area truck stops 7.2 miles but this is going to be done by 7.2 miles so unless i wanted to ramp park tonight that's probably the, if there is even a ramp up here that's about the only way i'm going to stop anytime soon rather than sitting here yeah, like there's freaking anything dude is there any ramps in this hole there ain't nothing you're stuck i don't think there there ain't no ramps are there no that's an overpass <laughs> there ain't even no ramps dude there ain't nothing you can do i can't even ramp park what is this no overpass <laughs> god bless it dude how the hell are they gonna have construction causing a 40 minute back it's it's increasing it was 31 and we sit now it's 36 
And if y'all know anything about the Google thing, it can easily take an hour or more, even if it says 40 or whatever. So it's never totally accurate. I guess they got a lane shut down and I don't know. I also wanted to knock out a little bit more because if I can get it down to like eight, eight and a half hours, then what happens is I will have a little extra time tomorrow to make my pickup because they're gonna want me to pick up somewhere. They always do. So now having nine hours, nine and a half hours to get there, that's gonna leave me hardly any drive time to like make my pickup and get parking and everything else. So depending on where they send me to do all of that. But yeah, so now I'm just kind of cheesed. I guess I'll finish my story though, but now I'm not as eccentric as I was before because <laughs> I just wanted to be done for the day. It really was a freaking dumb day today. It was, this morning sucked <laughs> so much. Bro, where are you at? Can I like come over there and park or something, dude? Anyway, since I started the story, I guess I'll finish it. So basically, uh, I was living in Florida, doing moto vlogs, 1,100 subscribers. I was always driving around, yakking, being probably even crazier than I am now in my videos, you know, and things I say. I was definitely crazier back then, for sure. 100%. I've calmed down. If you think I'm crazy now, I calmed down, son. Let me tell you that. I calmed down a bunch. Any of my old, old viewers can attest. But well, anyways, I'm riding somewhere in Destin, you know, by the water and stuff and everything else. And I see this girl as I'm riding. Two girls, actually. And I look over and I only really see the one girl on closest to me on the bike. And I look over and I... And I just looked at her because she had a body. And as I pass her, I turned to look behind, you know, to see, uh, you know, what was back there. And the exact words that came out of my mouth was, <laughs> she was not that cute in the face, but she had an ass on her, son. <laughs> That's literally exactly what I said. Like, it was just, you know, something mean that I should not have said. And that was all I said. And then I kept going about my way on my motorcycle and vlogging and, you know, talking and just having a grand old day. Remember, I have 1,100 subscribers. So I'm lucky if I get 1,000 views on these moto vlogs. So, upload the video. The next day, there's a comment on there from some guy who says, Oh my God, I know that girl. I work with her. This is hilarious, I'm gonna show her this video. I'm like, no, bro, why would you show her this video? Do not, I'm like, don't show her this video. Sure enough, the very next day, this girl's comment comes on and it was definitely the girl because her profile picture looked like what I remembered her face looked like. And she said, I actually think that my face looks fine, thank you. And then like, I was just like, dude, I just, yeah. I just sunk in my chair like, oh my God, dude. She just saw that. <laughs> I mean, there's way, I guess, meaner things you can say, but it's never something I would tell somebody to their face or if they heard it, you know, like, like it was something like you'd be talking to a friend. Like if I was talking to a buddy or something, like, man, I don't know, like, you know, she has a nice booty, but you know, I'm not, I don't really think her face is that cute, you know? And it was just me talking to my little measly 1,000 subscribers and, you know, thinking nobody's gonna freaking see this that happens to know this girl and happened to tell her, and they did. As small of a ch I can understand if I had even 100,000 subscribers, 50,000, a million, you know what I mean? Of course you're not gonna say some stuff like that to get back to somebody. So the fact that she knew and the funny thing was, was I looked her up on Facebook too, because I wanted to make sure, I, my first thought was somebody's messing with me, right? Like one of my buddies is messing with me, done made these accounts and all that. Well, it's her name on YouTube. A lot of people have their full name on YouTube. And I don't remember what it is these days, but I looked it up on Facebook and sure enough, in the Destin area, this, you know, right around the place where I lived is this girl's name popped up and there it was. And I'm just like, oh my God. And uh, yeah, she found out about it and I felt horrible. I even talked about it in another vlog later on. I was like, I know this girl does not watch my videos and has probably never watched another video of mine since then. But if she does, I just wanted to say that I'm sorry. And you know, 
After I saw your picture, you were a lot cuter than what I thought because, you know, the bug splatters on my visor and, you know, going at high speed, all this stuff. But, you know, there's no fixing that. <laughs> there's no fixing that, dude. There's no fixing it at all. And, you know, I talked about it in a video. I was like, I actually feel really bad about it now. And I did. I, I wholeheartedly felt bad because I thought whoever this random girl I saw walking on the road is never going to know what I'm just yakking about on my YouTube channel, you know, with hardly any subscribers subscribers but it somehow got back to her and yeah man that was my little story that i was going to tell y'all about uh how you know if you do say like that late it all started from the girl picking her nose passing me up and i was like now she's on my channel picking her nose she'll never see this video and then immediately that freaking florida thing came back strong in my head i was like no don't say that because if somebody's like hey i know her I'm gonna tell her she's got, you know, saw a pick in her nose, which wouldn't be as bad as me saying something bad about her, about her face, you know? I mean, yeah. So, whoever that girl is in Florida, don't remember her name now, no clue who she is. I still feel terrible about that. All those videos are gone, though. I've deleted all, pretty much all my motorcycle content from back in the day, so. Anyways, guys, I think I might just go ahead and end this video here because after the stories and now freaking sitting in this crap, there's really nothing to film, nothing to do. Uh, we're moving a little faster now. Is this a rolling roadblock or something? I don't know. Or it just said construction on the thing. Hopefully, I'll be able to stop at some point today. But I think I'm going to end the video here. Um, but yeah. If any of y'all start a YouTube channel, don't ever say anything negative about some random person just walking down the road, because it might get back to them. <laughs> Anyways, guys, I'll catch y'all in the next one. Peace. Let's take a spin to a foreign place. These open highways are calling our name, and now it's time for us to escape. Escape to a world we don't know. Escape. Into the great unknown Escape To a world we don't know Escape Into the great unknown